Hello everybody, my name is Cyberwolf and welcome back to Dream Daddy. Um, when we last set off we had finished up the uh, the barbecue and we had joined Dad Book. And uh, now he's gotta decide who we wanna chat with first. Um, no one exactly commented on the last video yet, so uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, I don't know who to really choose still. So um, yeah. Uh, I mean, Craig, Matt, and Robert are still in my top three, and I'm kind of more leaning towards Matt now. Like, I mean, a whole Matt and Matt thing aside, I think he's pretty cool, though. So, I think I'm gonna go with Matt first. Matt Sella. Uh, avid music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker. You can find me most days selling bean juice over at the Coffee Spoon, or hanging out at the park with my amazing daughter. Hit me up about 80s no wave music. On Friday, on a Friday night, you are most likely to perfect my cold brew setup, one drip at a time, baby. If you had one thing to take uh, with you on a desert island, what would it be? Fine tunes to pass the days away. Uh, what are your turn-ons? Multi instrument, <laughs> multi instrumentalism. What did you want to be when you grew up? A barista, weirdly enough. What's your favorite movie genre? Shit with subtitles. Uh, what's your ideal date? We go to the animal shelter and seriously consider adopting a cat. <laughs> uh, what do you never leave home without? My headphones, both in both in ear and over ear, just in case. Spend a lot of time thinking about where did writing commas into song titles come from, and where did it go? Did we all just agree it was a bad idea? Um. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with him first. Like, I'm gonna choose every. I'm gonna go with everyone at least once, so at least I can see how everyone is. But, um, yeah, Matt, Matt, Craig, and Robert are definitely the ones that I want to think about going all the way to triple hearts with. Oh, it's not responding. That's fabulous. First is the worst, second is the best, third is the one with the hairiest chest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I navigate to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. Hey man, uh, great getting to see you at the- oh, okay, he's typing really fast there. Hey man, great getting to see you at the barbecue, we should definitely hang soon. You free later? A minute or two later, I hear a ding to see Matt's response. Hey dude. I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight, uh, at the Soundgarden? Hold up, are we watching- are we listening to Soundgarden, or are- is it just the name of the place? What's a Soundgarden? <laughs> it's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listened to back when it was cool to have soul patches. <laughs> oh man, I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? While I'm thinking, another message pops up on screen. Uh, Pup is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop punk rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. Uh, I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever, let's get out of our comfort zone. Wait, did you type another one? Uh, I thought I saw another one pop up. Uh, I log off of Dad Book and think for a second. Wait. When was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtracked decades through memories of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning to the occult. Oh god, I had a mullet back then. <laughs> oh god, I thought it was cool. Oh god, another- Other people thought it was cool. I finally remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all of their airbrushed vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do we even do at concerts now? I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool, at least relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? I look over to see Amanda at the door, just getting home from school. Her eyes are a little puffy. Oh, jeez, is she okay? Almost as if she'd been crying. Hey, what's wrong, Panda? Oh, fine. nothing. I'm fine. 
I just got sad because I realized that society collectively refuses to take pop music seriously despite the fact that some of the most interesting musical innovations are coming out of that genre. I think it's just yet another thing that we write off because we can't take young women or their interests seriously. <laughs> are you sure that's all you're upset about? Uh, you have to tell me what's actually wrong. That's pretty messed up. Hmm. I don't really know what to go with. Um. Uh, are you sure that's all you're upset about? If there's, you know, anything going on, I just want you to know that I'm here for you, and I'll always be here for you. Whenever you need a shoulder to cry on or a strong dad to go kick somebody's butt, I'm only a phone call away. Thanks, Popsicle. I appreciate that. But I'm fine, really. I'm unconvinced. But I'll stop badging her about it. I'm sure she'll tell me when she's ready. Anyway, what's up? Amanda, how do I be cool? Let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is going to be a long night. <laughs> no, seriously. Matt invited me to a concert, and I don't think I've been... Uh, I've been to one since I... Since you were born. Aww. Jesus Christ, it took me a little while to get out. Yeah, you have. You took me to one when I was 12, remember? I'm suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of a sea of screaming preteens. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. I tried so hard to forget. Oh. <laughs> ah, jeez. The one where I had to camp out with you in line so you could get a good spot and then you cried and screamed the whole hmm. time dad it was so much more than that and i'm even ashamed to say it oh you're not ashamed oh not ashamed to even say it. oh you're not ashamed you seem pretty ashamed when i found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your <laughs> in your trapper keeper mm -hmm. yeah well you didn't even find the good stuff Anyway, you should be all set for the concert, if you remember that. Just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot, and you'll fit right in. <laughs> well, it's a smaller place. I think Matt mentioned that they're on a punk band. Mm -hmm. Like, DIY gutter punk? Tr uh, thrash? Straight edge? Come on, Dad. <laughs> Give me something to work with here. Are they post-punk? Proto-punk? C-punk? Jeremy punk? What's Jeremy yeah. punk? I made that one up to see if I could get away with it. <laughs> they're not positive hardcore, are they? Um, he said that they're Canadian punk. Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Does the idea of Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? <laughs> I don't see friendship and politeness as as core tenets of the punk scene. Well, punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. It became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. What I'm trying to say is, just enjoy the music. That's it? I mean, yeah, it's not like you're gonna jump into the mosh pit or something. Well, that's comforting. And if a strange dude in a set, in a set your goals hoodie offers to buy you merch, don't accept it and definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterward, where he takes you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. What? Huh. Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. Amanda, I think there's something you need to tell me. I show up at the coffee spoon at eight and what I hope is concert appropriate attire. I see Matt out front, locking the door to the hey. shop. Hey, you made it. Ready for tonight? Um, yes, of course, I definitely know what I'm talking about. <laughs> ready? I was born ready. Yes, of course, I definitely... <laughs> you better believe it, fellow live music lover. Grab those ticks and let's smosh that new. Ooh. What? <laughs> New, short for venue. You know, where you go to see dope Kurtz. Oh boy. Oh, or certs. Oh boy. Are you just making this stuff up right now? Oh man, I gotta admit. <laughs> I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks were cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. 
Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everybody holds signs and scream and scream cries? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Stay strong. <laughs> hey. But dude, I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is gonna be awesome. Just hang with me, Matt. You'll be fine. You'll be good. This scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. Quick question. Hey. Shoot. What is... scene? <laughs> Matt lets out a tiny laugh. Hey. Sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can describe a music scene as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they were into. <laughs> Matt looks off into, into middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking, never again. <laughs> That's confusing. <laughs> You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. After waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one end and a bar at the other. Most people are closer to Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. My waning youth is showing. I am suddenly aware of my mortality. <laughs> when were the good years of my life? Will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait, is C-Punk actually a genre? Matt, you made it! A younger kid runs up and high-fives Matt. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me, shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high-five me. Me too. I'm like a small animal. Loud noises in large groups of people frighten me. Oh, Matt, you're too precious. Uh, do you always enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? That's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Oh man, a couple of other people notice that Matt's in the crowd and yell hey as well. Yeah, yeah. Matt waves and hugs a couple people. <laughs> Matt seems really in his element hey. here. Matt turns his attention back to me. I'm so afraid of all these people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's grab a beer. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back where a couple of, uh, of older concert goers hang out. A couple more people notice Matt and tip their drinks yeah, at him. Yeah. Seems like you're a popular guy out here. Ah, uh, yeah. I go to a lot of shows. This is a really cool spot. But it's times like these where I realize I can enjoy the charming and funny for... Or, where I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. And then I become keenly aware of where my hands are. Mm. <laughs> and that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it, where do I put my toe? Yes, that's great. <laughs> See? Well, I've known you for more than five minutes and I still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. Hey. We grab our drinks. This scene seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit that they listened to it. <laughs> Let's check out the merch. Hey. Oh, hello. Matt and I walk over to a small booth in the corner of the room where there's a crusty looking teenager guards a selection of shirts and records. He singles me out from across the room and hops up on his chair. Step on up! Get your merch here! I got t-shirts, I got tank tops, I got all the gifts and accoutrements. A distressing concert goer of considerable taste might want. You! I gesture to myself, my face flushing red. Yes, you! You look like a fellow who's <laughs> who knows their music. How's about a fine 12-inch long playing vinyl record made and distributed by Pup, Canada's premier pump rock outfit? Uh, tally-ho, good sir! <laughs> Please stop yelling at me! <laughs> oh, no. Uh... <laughs> Tell you. <laughs> well, see here, fine shopkeep. Your enthusiastic salesmanship has aroused my interest and suspicion in equal parts. How can I, a consumer of your finer goods in life, trust your wares to be true of spirit? A fine question from a discerning patron. Okay, Pablo, you can give it a rest. 
Teen hops off his chair and takes a seat. Your friend looks lost, so I figured I'd give him the old razzle-dazzle. How the hell are you, Matt? Day by day, my man. They do the thing where they high-five, but also turn it into a hug. Your mom doing better? She's still single. If you wanted to be my dad, I couldn't make that connect. <laughs> And have a deal with you every single day and have to deal with you every single day? Fair enough. Who's your bud? That's Matt. Thought I'd bring out a concert, pal. Pablo leans close to Matt. Is Matt cool? Mm. Matt eyes me. <laughs> I eye him back. Mm. He cracks a smile. Yeah. Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. My dude. I'm not sure what to say, but give uh, the courtesy two pats on the back as is customary in our society for people who don't know super well, but still want to be friendly with it too. Pablo's a total card. Kid plays the hell out of a bass. Yeah, man, when we were starting our witch house band, we, uh, when are we starting our witch house band? You know, I'm, you know I'm out of the game. It's a shame, you know, a vacant veil would have slayed. <laughs> I'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing a bunch of band shirts. We got the sickest logo! While Matt and Pablo uh, talk, I check out the merch. These shirts are actually really nice. Looks like the opener is going on. Let's get a spot up close. Hey. Matt and I walk over to the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks on stage and uh, pick up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpsichord? The lead singer addresses the crowd. Uh, he has a mandolin slung around his back. Hmm. A mandolin in a punk band? Okay, well that's uh, that's something. Uh, hey, what's up, everybody? We're Jonathan. We're Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. Oh, that's probably why. My name's Daniel. Let's start the show. Oh no, these guys... What? Without time to respond, the band starts playing the most... One, two, three, four, 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 four. <laughs> what the fuck? Time to respond. The band starts playing the most. Uh, c uh, c cacophonious noise I've ever heard. What is this? It sounds like somebody's dying. Uh, Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Thanks. I put the earplugs in, and whatever the hell is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. For a band eh, this bad, they sure do seem to be having fun. I guess that's what really matters. Jesus, did the Celis just break his bow? <laughs> I don't get this. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the songs, and I think one of the band members' jobs is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. I turned to Matt and tried to start a conversation. So, you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? Um, ask again, it's funny. So, you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? <laughs> uh, I think if I scream again, it's probably just gonna be rude. He can't hear me, so I just stop and try to enjoy the music. <laughs> yes, try to enjoy the music. Okay, no, this is impossible. How long have they been playing the same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? Eventually, eventually, the set ends. But only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his set. <laughs> so they promised it was part of the act as he was carried off stage crying. <laughs> Matt and I both pull our earplugs out. Man, that was something. I promise Pup is much better. <laughs> I just have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get the answer to. 
Oh yeah, he sprains his ankle at every show. They were being real about that. <laughs> hey. Let's grab another beer. <laughs> Matt and I work our way out of the crowd and back to the bar. More and more people file into the concert space as it gets closer to the main act. It's getting kind of crowded in here. We grab our beers and I try to follow Matt back to our, back to our spots. Uh, but there are so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the thongs, the throngs, not thongs, no, the uh, throngs of excited concert goers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. I stop and look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20-somethings. <laughs> I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt here? Where is the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if that terrible band gets back on stage? What if... Suddenly, a hand reaches out to grab me. It's Matt. Hey. Almost lost you, buddy. Whew. I got really nervous out of <laughs> nervous for a second there. You and me both, dude. Matt takes my hand and leads me back toward the stage. I can feel myself blushing a little. We finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Hey. Yeah, pop really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Hey. Oh yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I just think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with it, but when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music just the same way that you are, that's magic. Uh, I forgot to silence my phone before I started this, and I didn't realize that it was buzzing a little bit. Uh, I suddenly have the urge to pee, cause this tiny dad- <laughs> curse this tiny dad bladder. I've never heard it put that way, that's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Hey. Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. I squeeze my way out of the crowd towards the restroom. I really shouldn't I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beautiful videos in the bathroom. Uh, beauty videos in the bathroom. She had she had an eyeliner wing going halfway across her face, which is actually a pretty good look. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> I make it to the restroom finally. But it's one of those single-person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. Ah, oh, that's so terrible. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Crap! The people that were initially milling around the venue all crowd up against the stage as Pup plays their first song. How am I ever going to find Matt now? Uh, <laughs> dad tip number 56, go ask your mother. Oh, what the fuck? Is this me? Everyone's rushing to the main stage to watch Pup play. I'm sure Matt will be up there too. I gotta find him before I get trampled by all these rowdy youths. Find that dad. Oh no, I gotta find that dad. Oh, oh no. Ow! Ow! What? What's happening? Go here, go here. This is the part of the game where you should have been hearing a licensed tune. <laughs> oh my god! To lock it down for you. We even got permission to whitelist the song for YouTube and Twitch. But Ow, the systems fucker. are seriously broken. Ah, what a bitch. <laughs> I fucking love this! This is amazing! So we add the, the song that you're listening to right now. Don't you think it's better than risking content ID? <laughs> Do you streamers and let's players, I have one decree. Please check out the band called Pop and their song DVP. Uh, am I almost there? I think I found him. Oh, wait, That's no. Right. I thought that was the band. The ba what? Pop and their song called DVP. The song is great and the video is tight. Yes, take it from me. Okay, if I actually remember to go and look this uh, band up, I might. And SNES games, so the lyrics added into them. It's really cool, but it's kind of hard to explain right now. But you'll get it, I promise. You should really go check God it out. Damn it. It's a really good video. Ah, they're going so fast. So we added the song that you're listening oh, I gotta hold the mouse down. Don't you think it's better than risking content ID? Oh my god! Oh, if I actually remember to go and, uh, 
watch the uh, this video or listen to it, I'll uh, you survive the crowd. I'll uh, I'll provide a link in the description for you guys. I guess. Uh, trust no one. Demands a serious convo. <laughs> but is this the time or place to talk about it? Oh no. This is a dating sim about getting with dads, no less. I'm finally able to work oh, my God, way through the crowd. How did we get here? What are we doing? <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Lay through the crowd to where Matt originally was, but he's nowhere to be found. Shoot, so well, I guess I should keep holding. I bumped into. To I'm bumped into from behind, and I find myself in the middle of a bunch of youths running around in a circle from the music. I'm in the pit. How do I get out of the pit? <laughs> out of nowhere, a youth shoulder, uh, a youth shoulders himself into me and keeps moving in a circle. Hey, I guess I'm moving in the circle now. I frantically search for a way out, but all I can see is an ocean of youths rhythmically slamming into each other. Another youth slams into me, and I lose my balance. I'm about to topple over. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this music is amazing. Oh, no. This is it. This is how I die. Trampled under the boots of counter culture. <laughs> Someone grabs my hand. Someone familiar. I look up and see Matt. He pulls me back up onto my feet. You're wild, dude! Matt throws his arm around me, and we jump back into the circle, bashing into youths left and right as Pup plays a killer solo. I didn't know you messed with the pit. Me neither. <laughs> I can't believe this, I'm having fun. I'm a little mad that I didn't stretch before physical activity, but I'm having fun. <laughs> the song ends, and the pit finally dissipates. Everyone cheers on Pup. Maybe I only got enough pit energy for one song. Ha, <laughs> alright man, let's retreat. We'll show these kids how it's done another day. We work our way back to the more comfortable spot in the crowd and enjoy the rest of the show from a safe distance. Pup put on an amazing set and basically had to beg themselves off, uh, beg themselves off stage after their encore. With the concert over, the crowd starts making their way to the exit. Hey. I actually really enjoyed that song. Oh man, I forgot who I forgot whose voice that was. Uh Uh hey, I'll meet you outside. Got to say bye to a couple people. I hang outside of the venue until Matt finally shows up. Hey man, thanks for waiting. I got you a present. Matt hands me a t-shirt I was looking at e at earlier. Whoa, thanks man. Saw you eyeballing it back in the merch booth. I mean, anyone who tears it up that hard on their first time back to a concert deserves a reward. Uh... <laughs> the youths will finally accept me. <laughs> finally, I will be able to infiltrate their ranks and defeat them not only on the field of battle as well have done as we have done today, but on a grander scale. We'll see you in the world in the world pit, youths. Hey, Matt. Hey, it's Pup. Whoa. Hi. It's other people. <laughs> hey, dude. Didn't realize you were here. I'm so glad I can make it. You guys put on a great show. Thanks. Hey. Well, see you around. That was cool. Wait, you know Pup? Oh, yeah. Met him a couple of times when they first started touring. Good kids. Whoa. That sounds great. <laughs> Come on, let's grab some dinner, some diner food. I suddenly realize just how hungry I am. Man, mosh pits take a lot out of you. Oh, excuse me. Matt and I walk into a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. Uh, we tear into some bacon and eggs with a corner booth. If this isn't Waffle House, I'm gonna be oh. awfully upset because this looks a lot like Waffle House. <laughs> so here I am. If if they call it. They need to call it, like, Pancake Cabin, or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> so we know exactly what this is. So there I am, in the pit, trying to explain to the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face, ta in the face tattoo, but he's already seeing, uh, he's already seeing red. Not from the tattoo, which 
coincidentally, was red. He's lumbering towards me, and there's nowhere to go. It's the end for me, right? Then out of nowhere, I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms, and just like that, I'm crowd surfing away from him in slow motion. You could have seen the look on his face. Hey. <laughs> uh, bought him a beer afterwards, and we were cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has a he has beautiful kids. I'm glad you guys worked hey. it out. Yeah, man. Just goes to show you that punk's not dead. It just drives a minivan as to hire a babysitter. <laughs> so that you get to sell all these amazing concerts. To see all these amazing concerts. Hey. Oh, I used to tour in a van. We were small, but it uh, got us to travel all around the states. Whoa. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, we were poor and we had to scrape a lot together just to survive. But I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. Hey. But hey, that's how I knew a bunch of those people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community, especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people, especially that Pablo kid. Hey. Oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own, and you can tell that it's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. That's really nice of you. Hey. Thanks. Us single parents just really have to look out for each other. How's Carmencita? She says she wants to learn the drums. <laughs> oh boy. Hey. It'll be loud and I'll need to take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. Can't really blame her. I'm suddenly very grateful that all of my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is that she does on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> I'm trying to be supportive of Carmen Seeds' rebellious phase, but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it would be a good I think it would be a good daddy daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. Yeah, yeah. Like what? Uh, fashion, consumerism, big budget remakes of foreign films. Mmm this kind of feels like something that he would enjoy me saying or consumerism. Mm, what would you like to rebel against, Matt? What would you like to hear? Reading subtitles isn't even that hard. I think we just have to strive as a society to be okay with reading subtitles. <laughs> he and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plates of greasy diner food. The breakfast I ordered for dinner is absolutely hitting the spot. Man, oh. being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest of the dads to talk hey. to. Yeah, I just... I don't know. Mm. I get really nervous sometimes, talking to people. Matt gets nervous talking to people, but he's so cool. Me too. I never really considered myself an extrovert, and I never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every, situ <laughs> every situation hey. always. Ah, uh, you're fine. You're actually... <laughs> My character relates to me so well! <laughs> like, holy shit! Um, ah, uh, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to. You know that? I smile. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night di dinners and head out. We walk back to the cul-de-sac, back to our respective houses. Tonight was a blast, man. Loved it. Although, I'm probably gonna feel it in my knees in the morning. <laughs> you and me both. I, uh, don't usually like going to these things alone. It was really cool to have you there with me. I'm glad. Hey. Alright, I'm calling it quits for the night. Stay cool, man. He called me cool. Matt called me cool. <laughs> I walk into the house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops her head out from the from her room. Hey, Pops, how's the show? Matt thinks I'm cool. Hmm. You don't say. Amanda Panda. Matt thinks I'm cool. Yeah. Blind leading the blind, huh? Wow. I just got dunked on by my own child. Unbelievable. 
Hey Amanda, remind me which one of the uh, which one of us just tore it up on in a uh, in the pit at a punk show, and which one of us just spent four hours probably watching Tiny House Hunting Amish Triplets Extreme Edition? <laughs> First of all, how dare you? That show is a classic. Second of all, you moshed in the pit. Who even are you? I am your extremely cool dad. Huh. All right. I'm hitting the hay, Pops. I'll see you in the pit. <laughs> Night, kiddo. <laughs> Always carry a pocket knife. Date complete! <laughs> oh, jeez. That is a lot of points. Oh, man. I just can't wait for your next hit. I got an A. It's not an S, but I guess whatever. Uh... Dad nap, sincerity, ska, bunk, uh, band puns, crowd surf, and earplugs. <laughs> oh man, king of carrot flowers? What? All right, well, whatever. Um, I think that's where I'm gonna end it off. Um, awesome, we had our first date with Matt. And as awkward as Matt dating a Matt is, uh, I think. Really, I think he might be in my number one spot as of right now. I really like him. He actually relates a lot to me, to be honest. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I think I'll continue on next time. Try and uh, I'll try out Craig and Robert, and then I'll do the rest. Uh, you know, play the field, and I'll probably go back to Matt once I've dated at least everybody once. But um. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a like, please share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. On your route, this is Cyberwolf, signing off.